Sometimes in our job, uh, you meet somebody that just screams out, do a story on me, because they're mm -hmm. such a character. That happened recently to me and one of our photographers. We meet the Mississippi King in this week's In Search Of Report. Every day, thousands of boats travel up and down the historic waters of the mighty Mississippi. But I challenge you to find a captain quite as colorful as 87-year-old Ike Hastings. Okay. Get the hell out of San Antonio. Ike is the very definition of a free spirit. All my life I've been on the water and I like that. This is where I spend most of my time during the day anyway when I'm rolling. He hails from Freeport, Illinois. At least he owns a home there. But the majority of his days are spent barefoot here on the water, traveling the Mississippi and beyond. I take off on four month trips and generally I come back, I, I've lost a wife. Come back and no wife, which was all right with me. But, uh, but this one won't go. <laughs> she's about 30 years younger, 25, 30 years younger than I am, and, and she's decided that she's gonna stick it out. <laughs> well, how, you know what do you mean? You come back and you've lost a wife? How many have you had? We're not gonna go into that. <laughs> Let's get back to the water. <laughs> With his silver hair pulled back and gold earring dangling, Ike mans the wheel of his latest hand-built boat, the Pickett Hastings, named after his great-grandfather. This is boat number 47 that I built. I built the first one 80 years ago when I was seven years old. I'm 87. And it's uh, all aluminum, so if I, if I can live till it rusts, I got it made. Ike is a true vagabond at heart, never dropping anchor in one place too long. Be where you want to be, do what you want to do. It's a beautiful place to be. I can do what the heck I want. This retired art teacher and World War II veteran is literally a man of many traits. Master boat builder, woodworker, he's even built and can fly an experimental plane. And this is big enough that if I get rid of the junk up here, I can put my airplane on there and the boom can lift it into the river so I can take off because it's an amphibian. Now the life of a boat captain can sometimes be lonely, but not so for Ike. He is in the constant company of his two best companions. This is my labradoodle. Uh, Bell, sit Bell, and this is Harry. Can you say something, Harry? Can't you say something nice? Well, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Kissy. He's 65 or 66 years old, and he'll go over 100. So he's going to outlive me. I'm going to have to put him in my will. One of the river's greatest characters, as if out of a Mark Twain novel. Oh, I feel like I got a lot of life left, and uh, a lot, a lot of plans that I'm, I'm not looking for the end. I'm looking for more things that I want to do. I figure about 107, I'll, I'll be ready to hang it up. Which means you still have time to meet one of life's true gems. So if you find yourself on a river shore and you happen upon the picket Hastings, do yourself a favor and say hello to Captain Ike. I wouldn't trade my life for anybody. On the Mississippi with photographer Kirk Arneson, Jennifer Livingston, News 8. He even spends winters on the boat. He, uh, really? he parks it in Dubuque, lets it freeze in, and then he has a wood burner and a diesel furnace to keep him warm. And he really only goes to his house a uh, couple weeks a year. <laughs> that's that a secret. Uh, 87, boy, he doesn't look it. And uh, I, I guess that's a secret. Just go out on the river and uh, don't worry about the wives. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many have you had? We're not going to go into that. <laughs> that's so. funny.